like Joseph, um, David, th these people who just been in the process of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Journeying with God and it has not been easy. But what I'm trying to say is that it's the season now for these types, these types of individuals to rise and shine for their light has come. I think that is Isaiah 60, one through three, if not mistaken. For the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. So it's God's glory that's gonna rest on people who don't care about man's plans or their agenda. I don't care what you think when we're talking about the Holy Spirit. See what I'm saying? There's a difference between your agenda. See, Saul had an agenda. He wanted to be appeasing to people. But then there was God. There was David, who only cared about God's plan. See what I'm saying? That's why David looked foolish sometimes in front of people. He danced in front of people. He danced his clothes off, his royal robes off. Because the Lord was so much more interesting. See, when we find God is more interesting than like people, politics, position, God will put you in some amazing situations where you become a tool of his possession. And that's why this hat says glory days, not gloomy days. Glory days. See, it's going to be glorious for God's righteous, his people that have been holding out with him. You know, it says the first will be last, last will be first. I'm talking about that. Those types who've been holding on to God in the midst of a heathen, weird culture, America and all, where you've had the wicked acting like it's more fabulous to be wicked than righteous. Nuh uh. That's changing. It's time for the righteous to reign. Bert Bridges, Bert Bridges World, Bert Bridges Network, word of the moment, signing out. Happy Shabbat to everybody. Peace be still.